Welcome to the fascinating world of cell biology and the intricate processes that drive cellular metabolism and bioenergetics. In this course, we will delve into the various pathways and mechanisms that cells utilize to generate energy, synthesize molecules, and maintain homeostasis. Our journey will span from the fundamental concepts of enzymes and chemical reactions to the intricate processes involved in ATP synthesis, glycolysis regulation, Krebs cycle, oxidative phosphorylation, photosynthesis, gluconeogenesis, pentose phosphate pathway, glycogen metabolism, and lipid metabolism. So, let us commence our exploration of cellular metabolism and bioenergetics. Cellular metabolism refers to the countless chemical reactions that occur within cells to maintain life. These reactions involve the conversion of various molecules and the transfer of energy. Metabolism ensures the synthesis of essential molecules, such as proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids, as well as the breakdown of nutrients to release energy. Bioenergetics is the study of how energy flows through living organisms. It encompasses the processes of energy capture, storage, and utilization. Enzymes play a crucial role in cellular metabolism. They are biological catalysts that accelerate chemical reactions by lowering the activation energy required for the reaction to occur. Enzymes are highly specific and tightly regulated, ensuring that each reaction proceeds at the appropriate rate. Their three-dimensional structure dictates their function, and factors like temperature, pH, and substrate concentration affect enzyme activity. Chemical reactions involve the rearrangement of atoms and bonds to form new molecules. Balancing equations is key to understanding the stoichiometry of reactions, ensuring that matter is conserved. Equations represent the reactants and products involved, and coefficients balance the number of atoms on both sides of the equation. Adenosine triphosphate, ATP, is the energy currency of the cell. It is a nucleotide composed of adenine, ribose, and three phosphate groups. ATP hydrolysis releases energy, which can be utilized by cells to perform various functions, such as muscle contraction, active transport, and synthesis of macromolecules. ATP is continually regenerated through cellular respiration and photosynthesis. Glycolysis is the initial step in glucose metabolism. It takes place in the cytoplasm and involves the breakdown of glucose into pyruvate. The regulation and control of glycolysis ensure that glucose is efficiently utilized to produce ATP. Key regulatory steps include the enzymes hexokinase, phosphofructokinase, and pyruvate kinase. Hormones and cellular energy levels influence their activity. The Krebs cycle is a series of reactions that occur in the mitochondrial matrix. It completes the oxidation of glucose by converting acetyl-CoA into CO2, producing NAD and FOD2, and generating ATP through substrate-level phosphorylation. The cycle also yields important intermediates for other biosynthetic processes. Oxidative phosphorylation is the final step in cellular respiration. It occurs in the inner mitochondrial membrane, utilizing the electron transport chain to generate ATP. The electron carriers NAD and FOD2 donate electrons to the chain, leading to the establishment of an electrochemical gradient across the membrane. ATP synthase harnesses this potential energy to synthesize ATP. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants and some bacteria convert light energy into chemical energy. It involves two stages, the light-dependent reactions and the light-independent reactions, Calvin cycle. Light is absorbed by chlorophyll and other pigments, generating ATP and NADF. The Calvin cycle incorporates CO2 and utilizes these ATP and NADF to produce glucose. Gluconeogenesis is the synthesis of glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, such as amino acids, lactate, and glycerol. It occurs mainly in the liver and kidneys and serves as a vital mechanism to maintain blood glucose levels during fasting or prolonged exercise. Key enzymes involved in gluconeogenesis include pyruvate carboxylase, phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase, and glucose 6 phosphatase. The pentose phosphate pathway, also known as the hexose monophosphate shunt, is an alternative pathway for glucose metabolism. It generates reducing power in the form of NADF and produces ribose 5 phosphate, a precursor for nucleotide synthesis. The pathway also plays a crucial role in detoxifying reactive oxygen species. Glycogen metabolism involves the synthesis and breakdown of glycogen, a branched polymer of glucose. It serves as a readily available energy storage molecule in animals. Glycogen synthesis occurs through glycogenesis, primarily in the liver and muscles, while glycogenolysis is the breakdown process. Key enzymes, such as glycogen synthase and glycogen phosphorylase, regulate these processes. Lipid metabolism encompasses the synthesis, breakdown, and modification of lipids in cells. It involves processes like lipolysis, lipogenesis, and fatty acid oxidation. Triglycerides serve as the primary storage form of lipids, 
and their breakdown releases fatty acids for energy production. Lipids also play vital roles in cell structure, signaling, and insulation. Cellular metabolism and bioenergetics form the foundation of life, allowing cells to produce energy, maintain homeostasis, and synthesize essential molecules. Our exploration of various metabolic pathways and mechanisms has shed light on the intricate processes that occur within cells. By understanding cellular metabolism, we gain insights into disease states and potential therapeutic strategies. Remember, the complexity and integration of these pathways are what make life at the cellular level truly remarkable.